Hi, this is a fluid pour and enhancement. You don't want to miss it. Hi everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Soraya. Today I'm gonna to be working on this beautiful fluid pour and enhancement. It's a commission and I'm so happy the way it turned out. I have commentary throughout, so keep watching. Okay, so today I'm using a 16 inch by 40 inch canvas. That's 40 by centimeters by 101 centimeters. <clears throat> Pardon me. And that's what I'm doing. This is a commission and uh, she wanted um, kind of an ocean look to it. So I've got some gorgeous colors here and I have mixed them all with two parts Floetrol and one part paint, my usual uh, way of doing it, okay? And I've got um, three kinds of blues, this gorgeous light blue and a, an artist loft white and I put two teaspoons of water in that one and also a kind of a light gray, it's called fog, light fog. And I'm gonna be blowing that out. Now this is a lot of paint for this and I know that, but I'm just gonna keep uh, the rest for other projects. So here we go. Remember to keep the setting on your hair dryer on cool. You do not want to be putting heat on paint. It will form a skin and you'll have a lot of problems, believe me.
The base of this painting was just so very beautiful and I'm here just picking out different areas where I could highlight to uh, enhance it and make it even more beautiful. I've edited this down quite a bit. It was hours and hours of work and I've taken highlights and um, edited it down to make it uh, more reasonable to watch. Um, so you'll see here the best of the highlights. I felt that this area really needed to be defined a little bit more and I'm working towards that to uh, make that wave really look like it's coming down and towards the uh, viewer. You're my world, you are my night and day. You're my world, you're every prayer I pray. If our love ceases to be, that is the end of my world for me. I'm defining the focal point here by adding these deep splashes, uh, really making the viewer focus in on that area. By adding these uh, teal uh, highlights, it uh, made the painting have more depth to it. It's not so two-dimensional with the, blue, the two different blues. Um, it really makes a difference to add that little bit you don't even, even notice it too much, but it adds that extra. I show the colors that I use to highlight and enhance the painting at the end. So keep watching.
My client wanted a little bit of yellow and I'm just basically dry brushing, which means it's just a tiny little bit on the brush and not too much paint and kind of highlighting different areas. So you see that it's there, but you don't really notice it too much. So here is the painting all done. I love it. It's got so much beautiful detail. And I love the sky. Dramatic, but not overly dramatic. It is quite beautiful. So much detail. If you click on the link you see now, you'll see more of my enhanced pores. So I quickly wanted to show you the colors that I use to enhance the painting. It is a Amsterdam Sky Blue Light, Amsterdam Turquoise Green, Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue. I used a tiny bit of that and Liquitex Raw Sienna. Those two I used very little of it just for highlights, uh, kind of a dry brush. My standard Titanium White Amsterdam and Pebio Studio Paints Gray. And I just love the way it turned out. I have a new Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist Amazing Abstracts and Pores Promote Your Art. The link is in the description area below. Check it out.